All right, we're doing uh, ribs today with the Smoke Daddy Competition Pellet Grill. I just now just started it up. Uh, I put the ribs in there, which uh, I put some rub on them. And uh, last night, let them marinate overnight. Now I'm going to probably do these at, well, I'm going to do them at 225 for probably four or five hours. We'll see. But this pellet grill works really well for, uh, for ribs and holding the temperature. Uh, you just load the hopper with uh, these pellets. But the only problem that happens is it doesn't produce enough smoke. I mean, it's a great grill, but so uh, what we've done, we've attached a Smoke Daddy cold smoke generator to it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, get that loaded up and start introducing some uh, smoke to our grill. So we'll come back. Okay, we've got the pellet grill going. We've got it up to the temperature, and uh, now we're going to uh, light the smoke daddy and uh, start to introduce some smoke. Uh, right here, what I'd like to do is, uh, what I do is load this with uh, some hardwood or uh, charcoal to get it started, and some wood chips, uh, wood chunks, works well. Uh, the reason we're using this is these grills, they do great for holding the heat, but they don't produce the amount of smoke that uh, we're looking for. So uh, then we're going we're gonna to put some uh, pellets, right? Some small pellets. I wouldn't put too many in there, but this is going to, this is some apple pellets. We'll put a few of those in there. And uh, it's very simple to light. Use a propane torch. Uh, light it for about 30, 40 seconds to get that hardwood charcoal going, and well, you'll start generating some smoke. Uh, I have an air pump on here. That's how it operates. What it does is it blows across the top, and it'll blow that smoke right into your grill or your smoker. Uh, but it's a very simple uh, device, but it works well. Oh, so we'll come back right. in a few minutes and I'll show you how this uh, this is generating the smoke. So that's good. The red All right, it's been about five minutes and uh, we got the smoke daddy going and now you can see that uh, we're generating uh, some nice smoke. Uh, let me open this up. We'll, as you can see, now now we've got some smoke rolling in here. Uh, if you look down in here, uh, you can't really see it, but the smoke daddy's uh, pushing the smoke in here. And uh, this is perfect for this. Just a nice blue smoke coming out. This, These ribs are going to be excellent. So we'll let these go, and we'll come back and show you a little later uh, how they're doing. Thanks for looking, and go start cooking. Well, come over here and check on the ribs. Uh, everything is looking good. Temperature's been holding right at uh, about 225. We're getting uh, plenty of nice uh, thin blue smoke. Uh, I just put a little rub on these. Uh, you can see they're looking good, man. We're going to have some good ribs. So keep that closed. We'll get, keep them cooking. So we'll come back. You're on. Okay. Uh, been about two and a half hours and now I'm going to uh, reload the, the smoke daddy and put some mop sauce on the ribs. Uh, simple as just take the top off. Uh, there's some nice hot coals in there so I think all I'm going to do is add uh, some wood chunks, a few wood chunks and, uh, and some more pellets. And I think after this I'm pretty much the smoking part of this. There's a little bit of wood chips here. but. Uh, That'll get going again, and uh, it'll start introducing some more smoke. Uh, we'll take a look here. The ribs are starting to look real well, good. Uh, I'm put a little mop sauce on these. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different recipes for it, but, uh, but yeah, these things are cooking. The, the grill is working out great, and the smoke daddy. 
you can see already that it's starting to generate the smoke that we're looking for. So with that, I'm going to close this up and let it go again, and uh, we'll come back later. Thanks. The other thing we're going to do today is uh, ham hocks and greens. The neck bones, and I call it bones and leaves. Uh, it'll be mustard greens, collard greens, and uh, some turnip greens. Uh, but this is the start of it. Uh, put some chicken broth with uh, all your bones and ham hocks and smoked meats. And uh, we'll boil it a little bit to get the meat tender, and then we'll, we'll add all the greens. Uh, but we'll show you that as we go along today. Thanks. Well, we just loaded that up again, and uh, we got the smoke going. So uh, I think this will be the last time we'll get another, give it another couple hours of smoke, and then I think that's enough smoke for for these ribs. Uh, but as you can see, they're getting a nice, nice smoke out of this again. And it's it's working well. The temperature is right around 200 right now, and uh, they're looking good, man. So. Uh, that's it. We're gonna we're gonna be making some uh, collard greens and mustard green with uh, neck bones and ham hocks here in a few minutes. So I'll I'll show you that in a few minutes. Thanks. Well, it's been uh, three and a half hours since we started, almost four hours, and we're done with the uh, the smoking part of it. I'm just what I did is uh, wrap them in tin foil, just to steam them a little bit more. Uh, we'll get them a little more tender, and then we'll throw some uh, barbecue sauce on it. Uh, I was working on our greens, dug on it. I should have showed you earlier, but they're cooking good in here, smelling good, tasting good. Tasting good. We're having a little luau today. <laughs> <laughs> so at work. At work. So thanks for looking. We'll show, I'll show you after we put some sauce on them in a little bit. Thanks. All right, here we are. They're done. Any good? Yep. Fantastic. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> Take a look at them here. Everything looks good. Nice smoke ring on there. Those are some good ribs. Smoke ring right there. Smoke ring. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's how you do uh, slabs of ribs with the Smoke Daddy uh, competition pellet grill. You can get them at smokedaddyinc.com. Thanks for looking. Go start cooking. <laughs>